As the director of the museum, this um, opportunity to run the UVU Museum of Art and to work with the Bastion family to make this opportunity happen and everyone at, at UVU has been a phenomenal experience for me. I've been in the, in the museum field for quite some time and I've really never encountered a more generous group of people and both from the Bastion family and, and our university and our community. Whether it was at University Place and now going to be at this uh, beautiful in fact, it's going to be the only university museum, uh, house museum or home museum in the state of Utah. It's nested in a community. It's nested in our community. We've always been committed to access to the community, right? So summer engagement arts programs for the youth, um, bringing diverse uh, art installations from around the world to this space, to Orem, to have the arts truly be consumed by the masses in, in our community. It's not just a gallery space. It's an engagement space, and so you, as people will tour it, they'll notice that each of these rooms that we've tried to really work with the Bastion family to preserve the integrity and the, the original design of the home, these rooms mixed with the patios, mixed with the galleries, really provide convenings for people in the community to come and again, engage with our students, engage with art, be exposed to things that they might have to think that they'd have to go to, you know, Los Angeles, New York City to go to, now is in our own backyard in a space that is as beautiful and sophisticated as any gallery space I've seen. Museums are about experience, and experience with objects, which often help people make connections that they don't otherwise make. Your heart, your mind can sense and feel things when you're encountering an object that you may not get through reading a page or looking at a two-dimensional image. So a museum provides a way to address the whole human being. It provides an opportunity for, especially in this case, for students and young community members to come in and maybe learn something about themselves as well as a work of art. When my mom passed away, we were wondering what to do with the house. It's a beautiful house and we wanted to find some way to pass it on, an, an appropriate way to pass it on. This idea came about to, to donate it to become a museum. That was a, a wonderful idea. It was, um, that seemed like a good post-life for the house. People could come and visit it and experience the arts there. My mom always wanted us to be involved in the arts. She always wanted us to be cultured. We experienced music and visual arts. We were involved in those things uh, growing up. She was a big contributor to the arts, uh, her and my dad. This is just a good legacy for her to leave for everyone else. I'm not sure if she would have done it herself, actually, because she wouldn't want to be honored in this kind of way. But it's nice that we have the opportunity as her kids to honor her in this way. When the, the museum was at the University Mall, like we had some incredible shows there, um, really wonderful experiences, but it always felt a little bit weird going to a museum at a mall, whereas this one just has that, that grandeur and that elegance that uh, I think is really befitting of the art itself. It, like it, it changes your, your viewpoint of how you're actually going to interact with the art. Lisa uh, is an amazing leader. She's a very thoughtful leader and she has a wonderful background in anthropology. So her background in anthropology and you know the study of humanity um, um, really shows up in the choices that she makes, the kind of programming that she um, that she exhibits, and that her staff uh, work on. My family and I, we had a, de a decision to make, uh, what we might do with my mother's home. And we discussed a variety of options. As we contemplated what mattered to our mom, we came up with kind of a, a short list of things that seemed to represent who she was and what she strived to do during her life. That list would include encouraging families to spend time together, music and fine art, education, community enrichment. As we thought about that list, we ultimately concluded that no other option encapsulates or perpetuates what my mom stood for better than this idea of converting her home into a museum of art. As we have proceeded down that path, it has been a good experience for us. It has galvanized us as a family. We've developed a wonderful working relationship with Utah Valley University, and we have high hopes for how this 
new facility might benefit the community. Art starts conversations. They bring to focus subject matters that are from everywhere, and there's no language barrier to art. Visual art, whether it's a, an artist from hundreds of years ago to a contemporary artist who's working right now, that's what art does, is it pulls that emotional reflection without any sort of barrier of, of language or culture. I think when you go into a place that has its own history, that becomes its own identity. I think the art mingles with the identity of the building in a really fun way. Uh, retrofitting a private uh, residence into a public space is no small feat. I'm so excited to um, be able to see what will happen uh, coming along in the, in the coming years uh, with that space and uh, what a great asset it will be to the UVU community. The UVU Museum of Art is a, a place to learn, to grow, to be inspired. And it is my delight to congratulate the museum and its leaders for this prestigious award. And I have to say, I can't wait to see what's next at the museum.